dance space. Then. Today on the show we're going to have a little automotive fun and maybe even a race with two vintage 70s vehicles. Of course, the space van and this thing. This is my friend Paul and this is Jacob. So you guys have this beautiful, what is this, a Triumph? 1975 Triumph Spitfire. But this is a special, right? Wow. We have a full electrical conversion, right? That's it, no gasoline. The age of the fossil uh, dinosaurs has uh, ended for the Spitfire. Wow, and you've done this all yourself. Yeah, Jacob and I did this as a project. It took us about 13 months. I've got a nostalgic attachment to this car. I just love it, couldn't get rid of it. Had to do something with it. Wanted to make an environmental statement too. And uh, this came upon this uh, uh, method of conversion and thought, Gotta do it. I was working in the lab late one night. So we've got um, 22 lithium ion batteries here in a big pack. We've got another 10 in the back where the gas tank used to be. This is the inverter that actually drives the motor. And over here's the charger. And what do you do for a living, Paul? I'm a chemical engineer. So, uh, I mean, I know the chemistry of the batteries, but I don't do stuff like this. I'm not an automotive guy. You fixed it in your garage at home. How, what were all the steps there? Well, we started with um, started by taking the, the car body bucket off the frame and we, we set it aside out on the driveway and we took the frame, hoisted it up and we uh, fixed all the holes, welded patches over the holes, uh, got it nice and structurally strong and then put, uh, put some uh, really good uh, corrosion resistant paint on it. Then we brought the body back to weld in new uh, door sills and rocker panels and all kinds of body stuff. And the four uh, floor pans, they were completely gone. It was a Fred Flintstone car. The seat was sitting on the, on the ground welded up some steel for the floor pans and got that all nice and solid. Just kind of laid it all out to see how it would fit. So the motor you can actually see better from the other side and uh, it's way down there. The, the great thing about electric cars, aside from the environmental benefit, from the pure car loving fun part of it, they have they give you all the torque that the engine will generate right from zero RPM. So I've got a clutch you use it to change gears, but you don't use it to take off. You just step on the accelerator and go. Now maybe you didn't know, but they were making electric cars back in the 1800s. Seriously, here's a Porsche with electric motors on each front tire. So, before we go any further, let's talk about some facts. By 1900, there was almost twice as many electric cars as gasoline engines and both were considered environmental solutions to even a bigger problem, poop. That's right, shit. We're at the St. Jacob's horse auction today. 47, 4,800, and 4,800 to get 47, but down in a 48 there's... Now, I'm guessing there's about 75 horses in here. It's a little loud, it's a little smelly, and you know, whoever has to deal with this mess certainly has their hands full. So imagine this, in 1890, there were 175,000 horses in the streets of New York City. That meant 2,000 tons of horse number two in the streets each day. 160,000 liters of horse number one. And if this wasn't all terrible enough, there was an average of 41 dead horses laying in the street each day. So, when the automobile came along, it was actually an environmental solution to a terrible situation. Paul, where's the exhaust pipe? Uh, there isn't 
Oh, right, there isn't one. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, I'm gonna put this where the exhaust pipe would be. That's right. Okay, so let me start the meter. Ready? And hit it. Okay, that's it. Is it running? running. Yeah, rev the engine. Ooh, you went up to 35-ish. It's gonna kill me. What did I get? I don't know, you pegged the meter, man. Let's get down to brass tacks here. You think this can go faster than my space van? Bring it on, space boy. <laughs> oh, what do you think, Jacob? Uh, Will you be our judge? Sure. <laughs> Paul, I think the next thing to do is race. Yeah, yeah. Crunch, line him up. Hey, look, go all the way up together, get your cars, and bring them up on the right hand side. Take care of car and put them on the left hand side. Hurry up, turn your lights and turn the center. Hurry up, get going. Come on, let's line them up. Close. She signals, we head for the edge. And the first man who jumps is a chicken. All right? So who just won that race we did? Us. <laughs> no. Turn that to start it like you would a normal car. Put the clutch in? Don't need to. Don't worry about it. Okay, let it go. The you car has started? Clutch? Yeah. Hear that little click? <laughs> Stalls. It's been stalling lately. It idles too low. Okay. It gets angry when it's not driving. <laughs> Listen to that exhaust. Now this guy's gonna come up and uh, yeah, just uh, drop Let this the, off. Drop the emergency brake and uh, put it in the first. Put it in the first. Wow. There you go. Let let your foot off the clutch. Yeah. And just step on the accelerator. Really? Yeah. Just go. Oh my God. <laughs> wow! So you don't need that to use the clutch. That is so crazy! It is, it's awesome. So do you have to switch gears? You, you can, yeah, yeah. When you get up to four or 5,000 RPM, you'll feel the torque starting to drop off, so you'll want to switch gears. But, uh, you know, it's got a torque band like everything. Uh, but torque band starts at zero. Wow! That's a good thing. Whoa! Now you notice the ammeter is telling you how much power you're using. That's just mad. That's just nuts. Rock on, dude. The, uh, you'll notice that when you take your foot off the accelerator when we're going, it'll go negative, and that's putting energy back in the battery. This is amazing, Paul. <laughs> it really is a fun car to drive. Wow! That's amazing. Congratulations, Paul. You're brilliant. This hey, is so great. Hey, it's been so much fun. Well... Who is that? Hey, oh, hey, Danny. Hey, Danny. Good. Good to see you. Yeah. Good yeah. To see you.
How you been? Good, man. Are you, are you ready to be on the show? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Where's Where's the, where oh, get in the van. In the, that's your van? Yeah, yeah. You, we're doing it in the van. We're going to go to the studio. What do you mean in the van? In the van. Get in. With all the space stuff, that's your van? Guys, you're getting in the van. When I... Uh, sorry, Here we go. I don't... This is not what we signed up for. <laughs> theater. Little theater. All right, on the show today... We got the milk carton kids. Oh, hi, Danny. Kenneth and Joey. Yeah. How you guys doing? I can look We're against good. our will. <laughs> it's a rainy day here in Toronto, eh? It's a rainy, rainy day you guys picked. I said that in the parlance oh, of, yeah. the, of the native tongue. So, what's going on? Last time I saw you guys, we were at the Edmonton Folk Festival, and yeah. you were on your way to play the Grand Ole Opry. That's oh, right. That's right. We played How the Opry for the first time. How was time. that? Uh, they didn't know we don't play country music. <laughs> play it might have been a little disappointing for them. Yeah, right? I don't think that... You know, most of the audience are tourists. They're not from Nashville, so they come to see, like, some country music. They don't want to see us. You know, we told some jokes. We're going to do some songs now that we've had little or no success with. Played our sad... But my theory is that nobody... Like, many people don't know what the Opry is. You know, like, I uh, I try to stay away from uh, the internet, you know, reading the internet, especially about one's own band. That's, <laughs> well, that's always a bummer. because people are always giving you shit. Right. Well, that's always a bummer. But... What are you mostly getting shit for on the internet? Well, like, <laughs> somebody recently wrote, the tall one is leagues funnier than the squat one. <laughs> You know, <laughs> I wish I had that siren on stage oh. with us. And the other horn. And the other horn, la cucaracha. Yeah, yeah. You, you want to try it? Yeah, we're going oh, to yeah, put that switch right there. Oh yeah. <laughs> That's good. You burn a lot of gas in this rig, or what? Who is it? Now, are, is this van electric? No. <laughs> Who was that? Al Gore. <laughs> That's the Al Gore. It's Al Gore. Hey, buddy. Yeah. No, no, no. I haven't seen Tipper. <laughs> Are you okay sitting in the back, being the squat one? <laughs> well, <laughs> I am fine with that. I think people do get the impression that you know we're a duo, but um, I think they get the impression that you're the lead singer, like the main guy you know like there's always pictures of me off in the distance you're, you're or, Robin yeah yeah I'm like the sidekick that ain't cool because well, as because far I, as I can tell I do three times the amount of work than he does yeah <laughs> I think it's just because you got the hair and you've got prominent features you know he's more classically handsome as it were so after all I'm the squat guy. one Danny <laughs> well <laughs> that is the funny that's people my, think you're short you're like a normal heighted man. Yeah. Got yeah, it. I actually, I, I knew Leonard Nimoy. Not really, a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> but you did? Uh, his stepson and I played tennis together. We need a little default. Yeah, I mean, especially after that hot taster that Joey just dropped in the van. You went to Leonard Nimoy's house? I did, yeah, a couple times. Did you tell him about the space band? And you never seen Star Trek? That's right. <laughs> That's a little weird. That's fantastic. <laughs> That's crazy. But I watched a lot of Next Generation. That guy wants to know why we're driving in circles. No, that guy doesn't give a shit. He's a dog owner. Have you noticed these people that have these dog owners? They're unaware that there's a world happening around them. All it is is they think that it's them and their dog, and that's it. That's like, Joey's also got a They're kid. They're the last two kids? left on Earth. They're the last two left. Like, Joey's got a kid. This will soon wear off for Joey. In about a year, he's going to realize his kid's not that interesting. There's a world going on around him. He'll get there. This guy with the fucking dog, though, never. That guy See, is fucked. the thing is, you've actually got it backwards. When you have a kid, you realize the world wasn't that interesting around you. And then you're like... You know, you well, don't need your it anymore. world specifically. <laughs> Wait, I, Joey's yeah. wife's on the phone. Hello? Yeah, the kid's still boring? <laughs> yep. All right, confirm. <laughs> this is it. I'm having fun in the space van, though. What else? I want to talk about the dude's electric car that's the oh, other yeah, guy what? on the episode. 
But do you have an electric car? Because I just you, got I just got an electric car. Joe, let me warn you, Chevrolet Joey. Volt. Joey comes from California, and all all the people of California are experts at the electric guitar. At electric, electric guitar. guitar. Electric you guitar. can't say electric car. Every time I've heard you try to say electric car, you say electric guitar. No, the electric guitar is. <laughs> but you've only the electric owned, car is a you've far only superior. You've only owned electric cars, right? Of the last ten years. No. You're like an early is, adopter. No, this is my first electric car. I just got it two weeks ago. What about your Prius? That's a high. That's not electric. That's a hybrid car. It, uh, it uses gas all the time. This is electric. So the this people who own real electric cars are even more sanctimonious than the Prius drivers. Well, They're Prius just halfway is like, there. Yeah, no, Prius isn't even a thing anymore. Like, oh. you can't even get a sticker to let you go in the carpool lane with a Prius. You want to go through the car wash? Well, oh, yeah, maybe this that. leaks a bit. <laughs> Let's see what happens. Oh, this go. leaks uh -oh. a bit. Let's drive under the water. Oh. Yeah. It sounded grosser than I thought it was going to sound. <laughs> Uh, anyway, because then, you know, now also i got to put solar panels on my house and then I'm going to drive my car on the sun. Why don't you put solar panels on the car? Yeah, they're not small enough yet. He sleeps in a bed of granola also. <laughs> they're not small enough yet, but I think that's coming. But that's so, what? It, I never watched that movie, Al Gore's movie, <laughs> about the... Uh, the Inconvenient Truth? Right. It Is was, it really, it's, it's just... inconveniently too long for you. you didn't right, probably. I mean, we the, all don't know anything about this. No, I, we do. <laughs> I just went shopping. This is shopping. <laughs> the best He's an now. This is three guys in a van talking <laughs> shit that they don't know. Now we're going to talk about hey, nuclear submarines. <laughs> no, oh, no. well, now you're getting into my area of expertise. Yeah. yeah. We're cops. The cops are different here. Mounties. Mounties, yeah. Yeah. They're all on horseback, huh? Do you think they'll move the horse fleet to an electric horse fleet? We ate a horse in uh, Montreal. You remember that? We didn't eat a horse. <laughs> they were serving horse tartare in the restaurant. Yeah. We weren't like stranded that somewhere. That monster and had to, like, Joe B. Eat a horse. <laughs> That'd be quite a struggle. He also claims to be a superior athlete, but we've never actually figured that out. Well, here's, uh, Kenneth see. is a wonderful athlete. You may, but you. His, Thank you. His. Um, Thank you very much. His, his just neglected all of his tools, and by that I mean his body. <laughs> Well, I've got some weird hobbies, but he's, but I, we've never heard from him. We've never really got much of a personality out of him. So I feel like we should work on him, see if we can't dig up some gold. Hobbies? <clears throat> I have some hobbies. What? <laughs> I have some hobbies. See? That personality is just <laughs> boiling over. I have, some, I have some things I'm working on. You're working on these hobbies? Yeah. What They're going to come doing? to light soon. Yeah. Oh, he plays the banjo. I'm, I'm definitely a ho at the <laughs> hobbyist level of banjo. For sure. <laughs> For sure it's not professional. I, I bought him the banjo, too. It was very nice of me, you know? Yeah, that's a nice a, thing. It was a do. nice gift. It's a beautiful banjo. Beautiful it's a Canadian banjo. banjo. No, if only he could it play it. Is, is it Canadian really a Canadian banjo? Yeah, the, it's a Romero. I'm dedicating <laughs> I'm dedicating <laughs> a lot of time to it. It's good. It's good. Oh, yeah. No, he is, and I'm All sure right, he is. we're going to wrap it up. <laughs> <laughs> Are you questioning my commitment to the banjo as a hobby? Oh, jeez, make am. yourself comfortable this whole time. I haven't thought a lot about hobbies because we, you know, we started a band five years ago and it's been all consuming. I'm, I'm actually been quite pleased with the amount of time I've been able to dedicate to the banjo. Because you've got a band and then i got a family. And a banjo. And i got a banjo. That's so i got it. the band That's and the family. And the family goes to sleep. I go in the other room and play the banjo. You know, I'm surprised by what percentage of people in the world have kids. I think you, far... You know about far, this or something? What? You know about well, like it? Like, so many people have kids. Like, 80 or 90 percent, probably, of you have people no have kids. no idea kid. what number yeah. that is. No, I don't. But it's a lot of people. Because... But, and it's... The point is, it's way more than it should be. Like, the amount of people that have kids should be, like, 10 or 15 percent of people should have kids. But it's a big decision, you know? It's like takes way more time and money, for example, than going to medical school. So like it should be as rare, having kids should be as rare as going to medical school. Mm. No? What? Yeah, I was just making a Have call Have you guys ever that. thought of making a rap record and then you could be the milk carton boys with a Z boys? <laughs> <laughs>
like we've often worried about what happens when we're both you know like when I don't have this young youthful face that I'm blessed with you know it's Rubik's gonna be ridiculous squat when face. we go around call, being called the milk carton kids and we're yeah, like we're 60. 60 years old you know that's why you got well but so maybe we can be the milk carton boys to men and that's how we get through you know? I'm not shaking my head that it's a bad idea I'm shaking my head that it's a bad joke <clears throat> Thanks, Joey. That's it? Can we beam me out? Can we beam me out? I, like I just like getting beamed. Okay, so let's beam him out. We can't move. Ready? Here he goes. Glad he's gone. How do you tour with that guy? Uh, Pain, we're trying to cut down. You can do this without him. You know that. I just need to get somebody else. He's still f***ing here. Hey, hey, hey! <laughs> Danny, when you count your band in, how do you count them? You do one, two, three, and four, right? Or if like it's sometimes, in six? Sometimes it's a one, a two, a oh, one. Yeah, two, see, that's three, a. Uh huh. You never do like two, two, three, two, three. No, no, no. Like that? I skipped that's one, it. two, three. I started on two, two, three, three, two, three, go. Because it's in what? three. Yeah, but what, why would you need three? One, two, three, two, two. But it's right. more in six. Two, two, three, three, two, three. One, two, three, four, I'm gonna five, say six. two, two, three, three, two, three, and then we'll start. Two, Wait, two what? three, three. But I cannot remember that fleeting hopeful song that rose of our September. My word, what have we done? I'd love nothing more than to cover my face.
To our the dreams we left in our wake Come back to me as the joy we forsake Tell me whatever is burning the fire Playing that ET chord in the space van. <laughs> what ET chord? The five minor. Oh right. It always sounds like something, but from the ET theme, doesn't it? It's not. So Elliot. <laughs> Elliot. <laughs> I don't think it's. Elliot. <laughs>